Welcome to the debate. Today we're diving into a, uh, a really fundamental tension for anyone trying to build something for themselves. Right. And the central question is, you know, is that period of intense grind an absolute necessity? I'm going to show you exactly how to create professional podcast videos step by step, whether you want animated AI hosts, people sitting in the same room. Welcome to the debate. Today we're diving into a, uh, a really fundamental tension for anyone trying to build something for themselves. Right. And the central question is, you know, is that period of intense grind an absolute necessity? Or even using your own face. Welcome to the debate. Today we're diving into a, uh, a really fundamental tension for anyone trying to build something for themselves. Right. And the central question is, you know, is that period of intense grind an absolute necessity? I'll cover both free and paid methods so you can choose what works best for you. Let's start with generating the podcast audio using Notebook LM. You can either create a brand new notebook or use an existing one. For example, I have a notebook from my recent video where we cloned Alex Hormozzi's channel by adding 96 of his videos as sources. Once you're in your notebook, look for the audio overview option and click the edit button. You'll see several format options including deep dive, brief, critique, and debate. Choose the format that best fits your content. Next, select the length of your podcast. I'm choosing short for this demonstration, but you can pick whatever duration works for you. You can also select your preferred language if needed, though we'll continue with English for now. There's also a text field where you can specify what topics to discuss or enter key points you want the AI host to cover. Once you've configured everything to your liking, hit the Generate button. The system will start creating your audio overview and will ask you to come back in a few minutes while it processes. When the audio is ready, you'll see that it used all your sources. In my case, it shows 96 sources were used and confirms it's formatted as a debate. Play it through to make sure it sounds good. Aggressive hustle. Welcome to the debate. Today we're diving into a, uh, a really fundamental tension for anyone trying is completely authentic activity for genuine productivity. And if you're satisfied with the result, download the file. The download should start immediately. Now we move to the crucial step of audio separation. We need to separate the male speaker's voice from the female speaker's voice into two distinct audio files. There are two methods you can use for this. The paid method involves using a specialized tool, and the free method requires manual editing using video editing software. For the paid approach, there's a website called speakersplit.io where you simply upload your audio file and it automatically handles the separation for you. Their pricing starts from $8, which gives you 20 credits to process your files. However, in this tutorial, we'll use the free method so everyone can follow along regardless of budget. Open any video editing software you're comfortable with. I'm using the CapCut desktop app, but you can use or any similar tool. Create a new project and click on import to bring in the audio file you downloaded from Notebook LM. Once it's imported to your timeline, zoom out so you can see the entire waveform clearly. Now play the audio and listen carefully. Welcome to the debate. Today we're diving into a, uh, a really fundamental tension for anyone trying to build something for themselves. It's this battle between going all in with intense, aggressive hustle versus, well, the much more deliberate methods of slow productivity. Right. And the central question is, you know, is that period of... When the male speaker stops talking, pause playback and split the audio timeline at that exact point. Continue playing the audio. Right. And the central question is, you know, is that period of intense grind an absolute necessity to get a business off the ground? Or is it actually a destructive path that pretty much guarantees burnout? Exactly. I'm going... And when the female speaker finishes and the male speaker is about to start again, split the timeline once more. Now drag the female speaker's audio segments down to a separate timeline track below the male's audio. Continue this process throughout the entire audio file, carefully separating each speaker's parts. Once you're finished, your timeline will have the male audio on one track and the female audio on another track. Now select all of the female audio clips and decrease the volume to zero effectively muting them. Export this version and name it Male Audio. After the export is complete, undo the volume change to bring the female audio back to normal. Then select all the male audio clips and mute those instead by bringing their volume to zero. Export this version and name it Female Audio. You now have two separate audio files, 
one containing only the male voice and one containing only the female voice. The next step is image generation, and the approach here depends on what style of podcast video you want to create. If you want a simple podcast with both AI-generated hosts appearing together in the same frame, sitting in the same room, here's what you do. Go to ChatGPT and ask it to give you a prompt to generate an image of a podcast with two hosts, one male and one female. Specify that they both should be in the frame, sitting at an angle where their faces are fully visible and they're looking towards the camera. ChatGPT will create a detailed prompt for you. Copy that prompt and head over to OpenArt for image generation. Click on Create Image, and you'll see they have an extensive library of AI models, including Nano Banana, Flux, Sea Dream, and Ideogram, among many others. Let's select Nano Banana for this example. Paste your prompt into the text field, and in the size options, choose widescreen 16 by 9 ratio. Hit Create and wait for the generation to complete. Once your image is ready, download it to your computer. However, there's an important consideration here. We cannot animate both people in a single image simultaneously, so we need to split this image into two separate parts, one for each host. Go to the website that's linked in the description below this video. Upload the image you just created, and you'll see a red line indicating where the split will occur. Click on the split button, and the tool will separate your image into two distinct images, one showing the male host and one showing the female host. Download both of these images as you'll need them for the animation step. If instead you want to create a podcast where both hosts are sitting in different locations, like they're recording remotely from separate studios or rooms, follow this alternative process. Ask ChatGPT to give you two completely different prompts, one specifically for generating the male host and another for the female host. Copy the first prompt for the male host, open your image generator, and this time in the size options, choose square with a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. Hit create and let it generate. While that's processing, copy the second prompt for the female host and generate that image as well. Now you'll have two distinct images showing each host in their own unique setting. Download both images to your computer. If you want to use your own face in the podcast instead of AI-generated characters, the process is slightly different. First, you need an image of yourself that you want to use. Before you can animate your own image talking, you'll need to clone your voice to match the audio. The best tool for voice cloning is Eleven Labs. Go to the Voices section and click on Create or Clone. Here you can upload samples of your voice and create a clone. However, this is a paid feature and requires a subscription. If you don't have an Eleven Labs subscription, there's an alternative. You can use the Eleven Labs integration that's available within OpenArt. In OpenArt, you can clone audio using their built in Eleven Labs functionality. Upload a sample of your audio, then enter the script you want your clone voice to say, and hit generate. This will create the audio file with your voice that you can use for your video. Now we're ready for the talking photo animation step. This is where we bring our still images to life. Some of the best tools available for generating talking photos are Studio DID, HeyGen, and DupDub. Each has its own strengths, but for this tutorial, Let's use HeyGen. Once you're on HeyGen, click on Create and then select Create in AI Studio. First, change the resolution setting to 16 by 9 to match standard video format. Delete the existing default avatar that appears, then click on Add Avatar. You'll see two main options here. The first option is to create your digital twin, which requires you to upload a 2 to 10 minute video of yourself speaking. You'll also need to provide your consent for this. Once created, you can use this digital twin to create clone videos, sometimes called deepfake videos, but completely legally since it's of yourself and you've given permission. The second option is photo avatar, which is what we'll use for our generated images. Upload the first image we prepared earlier and click continue. Once the avatar is loaded in the studio, select it and adjust its position so it's centered in the frame. On the left side panel, you'll see an option to upload audio. Upload the corresponding audio file for this character, either the male or female audio we separated earlier. Take a moment to make sure everything is positioned correctly and the audio is synced properly. When you're satisfied, click on Generate and then Submit. The processing will take a few minutes depending on the length of your audio. Once it's done, play through the video to check the quality and make sure the lip sync looks natural. Welcome to the debate. 
Today we're diving into a, uh, a really fundamental tension for anyone trying to build something for themselves. If everything looks good, download the video file. Now repeat this exact same process for the second host. Upload the female host's image, create a photo avatar, upload her separated voice audio, adjust the positioning, and generate that video as well. Download it when it's ready. Now we're at the final step, which is editing everything together. Open CapCut and import all the video files you just generated from HeyGen. Let's start by editing the same location podcast video where both hosts appear to be in the same room. Add both video clips to your timeline, placing them on separate tracks. Crop the first clip to frame the male host properly. Then crop the second clip to frame the female host. Layer one clip on top of the other, so both hosts are visible simultaneously. Adjust their positions so they appear to be sitting next to each other in a natural way. The final video should look like a cohesive scene with both people in the same space having a conversation. Welcome to the debate. Today we're diving into a, uh, a really fundamental tension for anyone trying to build something for themselves. Right. And the central question is, you know, is that period of intense grind an absolute necessity? For the different location style where hosts are in separate spaces, add those clips to your timeline. Since we generated these images in a one-to-one -one square aspect ratio, you can simply select the one-to-one -one crop preset and it will fit perfectly. Crop both images using this ratio. Place the second video layer on top of the first layer in your timeline. Then adjust their positions, typically placing one host on the left side of the frame and the other on the right side, creating a split screen effect. The final video will show both hosts in their separate locations. Welcome to the debate. Today we're diving into a, uh, a really fundamental tension for anyone trying to build something for themselves. Right. And the central question is, you know, is that period of intense grind an absolute necessity? Giving that remote podcast recording feel. If you're creating a version with your own face, delete the male host video and replace it with your own animated video that you created earlier. Adjust the positioning and cropping as needed. The final video will feature you as one of the hosts having a conversation with the AI-generated co-host. Welcome to the debate. Today we're diving into a, uh, a really fundamental tension for anyone trying to build something for themselves. Right. And the central question is, you know, is that period of intense grind an absolute necessity? If you found this tutorial helpful and want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. All the tools, websites, and resources I mentioned are linked in both the Figma board and the description below this video so you can easily access everything you need to create your own podcast videos.